Hello, welcome back to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about the pond as an ecosystem. This is the case story. You have to justify why pond as an ecosystem. Suppose that this is the uh, diagrammatic view of the pond and uh, the bottom of the pond there is the heavy humus and the pond is filled with water this is the non-living part the pond has the floating plants on the surface this is suppose that this is the floating plants on the surface of the pond these are the floating plants present on the surface on the water suppose that uh, this is another rooted moist plant remain inside water so these are the moist plant and suppose that this is the submerged plant so present half inside the water and half outside the water and beside these there are uh, so many algae green, green blue green algae or green algae or the flagellates are present so these are the living parts so many animal also present suppose that this is the fish suppose that this is the fish so so many number of small and larger fishes are present so here we can find that the pond which is consisted of two types of components so one is the living component another is the non-living component so the pond has two components one is living components another is the non-living components the living components of the pond is known as the biotic factor or the components and the non-living component of the pond is known as the abiotic factors or the components so these abiotic factors are composed of water temperature as you know ph of the water then the salinity of the water some of the inorganic matters of the water and some of the organic matter of the water the dissolved oxygen also the part of the abiotic factors and so many things inorganic things present in water and they form the abiotic factors or the non-living components of the pond so this pond it has the biotic factors you can divide such biotic factor into three so in pond those green plants or algae or the phytoplankton present they actually prepare the food matter by the process of photosynthesis by the trapping of solar energy or the radiant energy so here such green plants they become the producer in the pond so the so many green plants 
are there they produce or they form the producers producers so what are these so producer again you may classify so different phytoplanktons phytoplanktons then blue green algae then green algae then some of the merged plants and some are the submerged plants and some are the floating plants so i put here only plants so three types of plants are there the some are the floating some are the merged and some are the submerged plants so here i put only the plants so these are the and the flagellates flagellates algae so these are the different producers some are the microscopic and some are the larger in size so these actually form the biotic factor or they form the producer they produce the food for the all members of the organism of the pond by the process of photosynthesis they prepare the food for the all other biotic factors that's why these phytoplanktons algae plants these are known as the producers in the pond and the food which is prepared by the producer such food become the food of the another group of organisms and these are known as the herbivores or you can say these are the consumers so here consumers may be so many zooplanktons and so many insects and small fishes and such insects small fishes they may so such consumers you can classify again the primary consumer and the secondary consumer suppose that the zooplanktons or the insects and the small fishes they are the primary consumers so these are the primary consumers such primary consumers become the food of the secondary consumers and in the pond the secondary consumer are snakes or the big fishes and etc so these snakes and the big fishes they consume the zooplankton insects small fishes and become the and take the second position of the second consumers position and another group of living organisms are there those are known as the decomposers decomposers or these are known as the reducer so these decomposer are consisted of bacteria and fungi so these bacteria and fungi they form the decomposers and most probably these are present in the bottom of the pond or the humus of the pond so most probably or in gross if you look then the pond contains all the components of an ecosystem the pond it has the producer and the producers are the plants or the green algae they prepare the food for the other members of the pond and the pond also contain the consumers these consumer they consume the producer and after the death of such producer and the consumers they became degraded 
or they are degraded by the bacteria and the fungi. So bacteria and the fungi they form the decomposers and they are the place in the decomposers. So there is the uh, relationship among all the members, all the uh, biotic members of the ponds. And here you may again find that the abiotic or the non-living components are the water temperature, pH, salinity. So these temperature, water and the salinity, pH, the oxygen, dissolving oxygen, all of these non-living materials are required for the living of such or to sustain the life of such other biotic factors. So for the biotic factors, so for the producer, herbivores and the bacteria, they depend on the water pH and the oxygen, dissolved oxygen and different inorganic matter. As you say, the living factors and the biotic factors, they interlink, interdependent, interconnected to each other in a pond. That's why in a particular area, in a particular time, in, in a particular area means in a particular pond, in a particular time, such factors interconnected, interdependent and interlink to each other and which forms the ecosystem. And this ecosystem, it is a pond. That's why pond as an ecosystem. All the part of the ecosystems are present in a pond. And that's why there is the maintenance and the regulation of flow of nutrient and the flow of energy takes place. Thank you for watching. If you like, then click on my another video regarding the another chapter of the environmental studies.